So Malaysia is launching three residence granting programs under which anyone may be eligible to apply. Hello everyone, my name is Irena and I work in Nomad Capitalist where we help people to go to places where they will be treated best by developing an all-inclusive strategy for them. Malaysia is a wonderful place to migrate, as we have previously discussed in most of our videos on YouTube, and it has, been, it has ever been researched and found that Malaysia is listed as the 13th spot of most popular countries to move to. Fortunately, with all the resident alternatives available for foreigners, moving to this lovely country is now much more simpler than ever. We'll walk you through three of the most well-known programs right away. In Malaysia, there are two primary MM2H long-term residency programs. So Malaysia has a program that is called Sarawak, My Second Home, SMM2H, and a program called My Second Home, which is MM2H. Both programs are initiatives by the Malaysian government to entice and permit foreigners who meet specific requirements to stay in Malaysia on a 5 or 10 year renewable pass with a multiple entry visa. No matter their color, creed or gender, all immigrants are welcome. The Malaysian government has specified certain personal and financial requirements that must be met by all primary applicants. Individuals may bring their spouses and unmarried children under the age of 21 with them as dependents, but let me walk you through other details as well. To be eligible for the visa permit that grants participants a five-year social visit pass with multiple entry under the first option known as MM2H, applicants must fulfill the following requirements which are the primary candidate must be at least 35 years old, must demonstrate liquid assets worth of 1.5 million Malaysian ringgit and demonstrate a monthly income of 40,000 ringgit. Each participant is eligible to purchase residential homes worth more than 500,000 ringgit or 1 million ringgit depending on the state once their application is actually approved. However, let's be clear that purchasing a piece of property is not a requirement for the MM2H visa. So now that we covered this, let's continue to the second option, which is SMM2H. So for this option, you must have proven a minimum combined average monthly income of 10,000 ringgit for a couple or 7,000 ringgit for a single person over the previous six months in order to be eligible for this program. It can come from salary, pension, dividends, rental, interest, and so on. Or you can use liquid funds, which require you to demonstrate a minimum of 100,000 ringgit for a couple or 50,000 for a single person. Person, equal in combined liquid money during the previous six months from bank statements, from stocks, investments, pensions, and so on. Now, if you're between the ages of 40 and 49, you should either have children enrolled in a school in Sarawak or you can invest in real estate. For coaching, that would require you to invest 600,000 ringgit or 500,000 in other regions. Additionally, if you are a person between the ages of 30 and 39, you must have kids who are students in Sarawak. It is crucial to keep in mind that you can only apply for a visa under the income, only category if you are from outside of Malaysia. Unlike the first program, this one lasts for 10 years, after which you can actually renew your visa. The good news is that, however, there are no government processing fees if you apply, but you must stay in Sarawak for at least 30 days each year. Your spouse and any unmarried children under the age of 21 may accompany you under these programs as dependents, of course. Now, let's discuss the premium part, also known as the premium visa program. Although this option is still regarded as new, we have already told you about it in one of our earlier videos. It was presented in September of this year and became available for applications in October. The outstanding features of this program is that foreigners are permitted to invest in Malaysia and live there for a term of 20 years with the option of an additional 20-year residency permit. Participants in this program are not subject to any physical presence or minimum stay limitations, nor are there any minimum or maximum age restrictions for the main applicant. Subject to current immigration restrictions, this program allows you to bring your spouse, children, parents, parents-in-law, and domestic staff as dependents. It makes sense that it is labeled as premium with all these advantages. 
Main candidates must place 1 million ringgit local fixed deposit with no principal withdrawals permitted for the first year and up to 50% withdrawal from the principal value permitted after that. They must also show, however, proof of offshore income of at least 40,000 ringgit per month or 480,000 ringgit per year. Which of these applications bet suits you? Let us know in the comments.